What is up, everyone? So... Thanks. Thanks, Jarrett. If you see this. Uh, it linked me... Forgotten Fossils, a YouTube channel, which led me to just looking in more videos. I came across this video. <clears throat> this grabbed my attention the moment I saw it. I was like, okay, there's a bunch of ammonites, right? Which I've been describing this feature to be caused by currents. And so if they're caused by currents, imagine a current is spinning here. So here's an ammonite. The current is therefore going this way here. But what then happens is at its boundary, the opposite rotation systematically exists. Which is... <clears throat> coincidence for fossils because why would it matter that there this one is this angle it could be flipped it doesn't really matter it's just happenstance and also these are adjacent by happenstance according to fossil interpretation but from a current interpretation there is a current that went one way and then a current surrounding it that really rotated like poles like several poles that were going in the opposite direction, so I linked this video, which I've referenced many times. On, On fast. Wait, that's. On faster moving pohoyoy flows, the crust may become detached and get completely spun around on the surface of the flow. On faster moving Pehoho flows, the surface may come become detached and rotate. And also notice over here, so it's rotating this way counterclockwise, but over here it's rotating clockwise off of the side because that's what happens. So in the case of of this basically it's just off of the side going in the opposite direction but then many of them why exactly that's happening I'm still kind of reasoning through this the rest of the surface of the rock is generally like this it's a pretty big rock if I remember right let's check it out there it is so it's just like center, it's generally center, the top of it, it's kind of interesting, maybe even, that's so crazy, it looks like a hier hieroglyph, petroglyph, something glyph. So this is from Yorkshire. So I started, before I move on here, check right here out. So these all look like shells and are interpreted as seashells, but because they're all current caused, I would argue they're not actually seashells because if we look right here and here, these are resonating outward, but there's really no shell there. It's just within the material. This is what I'm thinking is they're almost like waves coming through an entry point to then fan out like like lava fan out kind of thing but in its own like mud material fanning process and then it solidifies with like features that then are labeled fossils because of like the nuances of what's going on with the currents but in some instances it shows that it's not fossils because it's not happening to a mound, but it's still happening, and it's happening also in this instance from a foot, like one point in both directions. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, before I get to that one, maybe I can find a previous one. It's okay. So apparently, this what we're about to look at, which it already was on the screen because I posted on Twitter, is something that as one of these two gentlemen were walking down the Yorkshire beach coastline here looking for fossils, this rock fell in a land, landslide and was just there. And this thing... I had to make a video because this stone. Here's a look at the fossil that Aaron has just been talking about. It's a huge section of an ancient marine reptile called an ichthyosaur. It's all articulated and take a look. So he's saying it's a fossil. Which is, of course, his interpretation. And then any uh, traditional interpretation would be fossil. This is real interesting. That's over here. And these, these, okay, my interpretation of these is uh, literally a current is flowing through like a channel that it preferentially takes. And then it has, it forms like a backbone structure in instances like here like these which is a myron cook video on youtube like like these so it forms the this type of structure that has concretions down the center it really is very similar in nature to what's going on here to a point where maybe that's what's going on. And so if this is a spine of a creature, <clears throat> then its bones around it are very odd. They're literally like <clears throat> physically going up and over multiple of them. and wrapping around the central spine much more like a like a coaxial cable much more like a coaxial cable which is a conduit basically which is interesting, why would it resemble a conduit if... <clears throat> Probably because it is. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at, is this is an incredible. This thing right here is basically a frozen Ber Berkland current, is my interpretation. <laughs> incredible, this find. It really... Makes no sense to be a fossil. No offense, sir. No offense. I know, of course, that's what like, everyone is, interprets this type of thing to be. But in this case, like, what? How is it? A, the only way it's a fossil is if the creature's bones just happen to be broken and then overlaid in a orderly way and then, like, locked in place overlaying one another like this like one two three like we literally see one two but not even like the same like this thing there's a rib or whatever fossil interpretation that these would be it just kind of comes off of this these two units like it from them I'm sure there's more of these in the region than. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me also, before I. <laughs> I've been. I've been talking to ChatGPT. 
Where is it? I posted. It's probably before Monster Jam. It's earlier. Well, maybe we can go through some chat GPT. I found this in this video here. Let's extract it, this one. Which is from Forgotten Fossils channel, I believe. Yep. There. And that. Like, what? That don't look like no fossil. It looks like currents that flowed that just didn't produce the outcome of the fossil, but began to, like, subtly produce it. Maybe, like, a drainage point, inlet-outlet point, that exchange passed between the layers. <clears throat> Some material that at times led to, uh, like mineralization of that location specifically in an eddy that then formed fossils and at times also just like a continuous current in a specific location <clears throat> that then produces like a spine type structure and even here we see like a node which in a Spine maybe exists also. I'm not saying that there's not features that resemble it, which maybe is revealing, but that the node is like a exchange from the current to a outside point where it came, it exited the the channel and exchanged more readily to vent from some like location that was just filling with pressure because of the current even though that's preferentially where the current was going as the current went there it was just such a elongated pressure that it led to like eruptions out of locations that without the filling of the vat it wouldn't occur that way <clears throat> i spent a, maybe a little much time watching uh, tsunami videos and just like videos like that <laughs> but a lot of tsunami videos I did not actually watch that I was like ah <laughs> oh yeah check that out see what's going on with that <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just oh. okay. Let me see if I can find as <clears throat> so. This they're all from Japan. The ones I was watching today, but the like I was. It's incredible. It really is incredible. Just like la la la, just sitting here, and then this wave of water comes. And the boats start getting pushed, just pushed. It's a little surprising, honestly, like how easily these boats just get turned and like spun in this wave, like it, that it's that energetic, that energetic already. That just almost looks like it's just kind of. <sighs> now we see some energy though. Now it's starting to pick up speed, like. Okay, now it makes a little more sense, but like initially it was just kind of it was legitimately surprising me how much how capable it is. And then I I saw like huge boulders moving in waters like this in India that really show the potentials of things of this nature during the Earth's expansion process, which was way more energetic. <clears throat> Certainly water was involved flowing in this manner, moving materials, and then just leaving it places and draining, draining river paths, and then water flows in the drainage paths still to this day in places. But 
there were sir here. Okay. So that here's that river. I th I think this is generally that river. So it, it's going down this channel of the river where the like elevation's lower, but the physical current is essentially building up the elevation until it overcomes the activation energy maybe even to flow into another region and exchange energy to that region and then it begins to like offshoot like like a trident energy even like it's going this way but then it's also going upward in its continuous flow this way it's building and then it begins to overwhelm to the side and just when it when it flows to the side it goes through like an entry point like those like these things and fans out from them so this will actually kind of show up in what happens with these trees i know it's kind of weird that i'm watching like this type of video and analyzing the current flows <laughs> but it's really like revealing so let's just do it so sorry if this is bothersome to people it happened and it's recorded i mean it's only reasonable to like literally learn from it even in that way so we see like the water just kind of it's just kind of coming in not not too bad yet and then it just like oh, at some point it just floods in It's kind of crazy too like uh, there's videos where people are like running this way and then the water starts showing up over here and it's like oh shit dude <sighs> don't even know what happened to some of them sometimes like some of them was just over in that area like an area that then like cars driving and then the water like this passing like oh my god dude okay but we're gonna see so there there's a let's just keep going notice the the water is relatively lacking debris at least presently to a degree pretty low in debris it's just like water flooding in down this little hill <clears throat> across this playground Okay, now check this out. I didn't even pay, I didn't notice this, but I already know what's gonna happen. Now I'm seeing incredible things. Let me move me. This arc, and then there's a straight line and a straight line. So there's a current coming in from the other side of the building, like I was just saying. Like it, it's coming this way, and then it comes from the like the other side. So it also is coming from over here. So this apartment complex that is videoing the water is gonna have two flows passing into this exact region, and we're gonna see how the current flows in a region that has an apartment building on the far side uh, on the right side over here along this way over here we can see it a little bit here and then the one here so it's basically three-sided with openings on two the two corners and then an opening this way over here this opening sided like a wall a boundary and then another boundary over there, and then another boundary with inlets and outlets. Okay. Just, I know. 
generally the water's flowing this way, down over, over there. Look like also to the left. Still the water is relatively just water. Now we see, okay, bunch of debris. Not just like debris, but a bunch of debris. Suddenly the water that's like this starts to become way more filled with this just wave of debris. So it's almost like, this is what I was envisioning, why would that happen? It's like the water comes through and it starts to tear apart buildings. Because it pretty much, in the videos, it's just psh, buildings done, like, done a lot of them so it's like why is this delayed but it's like well it probably keeps doing it until it builds up in, in resistance and then it busts the resistance free at some point and boom this huge wave of debris comes and it's like if you imagine the debris to be like big, large, massive systems in subtle current flows, and, they, and that, that's kind of what's going on, and that maybe is kind of what's going on, so, like, just a thought, a way to envision the debris as we go forward, because it's gonna do really curious things that are like, dude, look at this, what the, like, it's reminiscent of things in the the magnetic anomaly map, so like right here, I'll tell, we'll, we'll get a better angle of it. I know it's kind of crazy. Oh my god, dude! I fucking just ha oh my god! Pfft. Oh my god! Pfft. This is insane to know. This just like happened and the world went on, pretty much. I mean, people helped, but, like, how much? Oh, my God. Okay. I know. I know, guys. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm in the way again. I'm kind of... I was for a moment in the, in the proper hot spot for the action but now it's kind of over here okay so these trees though kind of start to create this entry point to this region for the debris like it builds up a wall of debris here but then the debris like funnels through an entry point or multiple entry entry points even like over here too as the water continues to flow it's also just coming in this way. So debris is starting to come in, just flowing in. Oh my god. But notice, uh, so like that's, this is, notice it's just like a channel of debris. why that happens I keep seeing that it's just like psh. like if that's some kind of tank in the water that's like bursting or if that's the water doing some interesting thing I don't know we kind of see so like a a long flame-like structure kind of thing going on from this location as as time progresses. Oh, pfft. oh my god. Okay, so notice this. That's real cool. Sorry, I know it's crazy, but maybe I, I it would be behoove me to bring up this. Where there's currents flowing, like there's a current flowing here. This is what, this is kind of what I'm thinking of from that location, like a a shape of this nature forming. I'm just 
this thinking. Um, but like if a, a current is flowing, here's a barrier, there's a current flowing and it hits the barrier, then it's gonna start to bend. And if the barrier is like large enough where it bends, it can bend back and then just keep doing this like folding thing by just this stream coming in and folding. So it all, that's kind of what I feel like is happening to a subtle degree. It doesn't like fully do it with this debris. It flows in kind of in a like straight line because it's just in a flow, but then it hits a resistance of the cars in a second here with this flow it's going relatively in a straight line and then we kind of see it starting to like bend and do weird things like it's hitting a resistance ahead of it oh my god i can't believe these any buildings were like sustaining this that's incredible oh my god This has got to be nearly impossible to build for. Oh my god. This, how it like... This is kind of what I think happens a lot. Like a mound is there, and so a current's flowing. It hits the mound, and it just builds up like a... The debris, the debris builds up there and then it funnels around the sides. Whereas over here, maybe the current is able to flow so it creates a space without debris kind of thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get over to the other side. I think we're we're going to the other side here in a second. The other side really shows the interactions of currents. This is so Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So we see now this current going this way. Kind of just the the debris really does kind of do this kind of thing where it, a current's flowing, so there's just like water, and then like the debris is forming like mounds. Where in this instance, the, the mounds are just like way denser and just like lodged in position more, but still the same general thing going on where there's. A current, so we can. I almost made a terrible joke. Could you hold the camera steady? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. I had to make the terrible joke after I said I almost made a terrible joke. You know, given the circumstances, I was... Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I just got excited, I guess. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on spinning currents. So we see a turbulence here. Even though the water is flowing this way like it is... Right past this thing, there's this little eddy, which is kind of interesting. And then past this building, so we see this boundary still is kind of present in the water, even though it's way higher now. Like it's it's carrying vans in the water. Oh my god. So there's a current going in this way, there's a current going this way. 
a current going this way across this one so basically the one coming in across this way enters into this region and creates a like equilibrium of a vortex of the debris where there's a, an inlet from the far side it seems that travels along this building see how fast this current is going into this region along the building just this fast current along the building and then it spins off here And then here it seems to be spinning this way. So there's all sorts of just rotating currents involved. Wind currents flow and then there's like boundaries and things that create circumstances where changes in the flow are caused to create eddies. Things of that nature. Okay. Um, trying to... There was one, if I can find it, it would be real good. Yeah. I think it's... Is this the one I was just watching? Yeah. It shows, it's incredible, honestly. I don't want to give it away what it shows. I don't want to give away what the, here it is, here it is. Okay. Oh, there it comes down the road. Oh my god, this person. Holy shit, they're on a freaking moped. Oh, there's just... <laughs> Do you think they know yet? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Ah! Holy shit, all oh, the water. See, that's what I mean. You see the water ahead, but then suddenly it's there. Oh my god. What did that person just turn left and do? Holy shit, dude. Okay, let's get to the water being here, though. It's coming in. It's coming in. She's not happy. Okay, though, so it's coming generally in here. But again... Interesting, it starts to flow this way, this way. So it comes in and then fans out when it passes the resistance and the walls, which makes sense, and goes out those directions. But then it... Holy shit, the turbulence coming in now. Let's just get to what I wanted to... Play. Okay. This region. Oh my god, there could be people in these. There's probably people in like half of these cars. Oh my god. So, clearly, this is going to the left. This is going this way. These two currents are colliding. And there's a lot of, like, impact craters on Earth that are probably not impacts because they're instead caused by basically novas where currents intersected on Earth and created, like, nova structures like this and like this with rings that I've talked about in depth in in depth 
including Chicxulub and uh, the many other impacts that were simultaneous. This one here was simultaneous. Because they're not impacts, but they were breaking of bonds of the cross, continental crust. That was a single landmass. The crust broke apart into seven continents. But before it did that, they were still together at like points that were like energetically bonded. And when, in order to break the continents apart, their bonds needed to break, and that probably is what impacts were. I'm not sure. I'm not completely sure exactly because of other things, but let's get back to this. Current and then a current going this way. So these two currents. Now we start to see this like little eddy going on here. Like a a wall. That's interesting. Maybe because of this boat. It's really, it's turning a bit more. And the boat's out of there, so maybe once the boat's out of there. I think it's turning like that. It's really like... It seems at a loss, honestly. Like, what does it do? Like, this current wants to go this way, and so when it when it reaches this boundary, it wants like the initially when it was coming in, and it just kind of fanned out. This also is kind of doing the same thing, but there's this water here, so it like creates a, a pressure in this direction, generally speaking, and and across. It generally flows across, but it creates a pressure in the direction of this other current which then causes it to flow into it and wrap like towards the building and back in the opposite direction basically and flow like this probably like two here and this way kind of thing like out out but then this current's doing the opposite thing where it's running into it and curling in the opposite direction so it's like at a loss almost it seems in terms of what to do so now we see almost like a divide, maybe? I, I haven't really thought of it from that angle. If what I just said precisely, I was just like, whoa, that's crazy. And that probably is because these two currents are colliding, but I didn't think of specifically that they're like colliding and creating like a so not optimal situation of balance where they're, neither of them can like create an eddy here to stabilize. They're like fighting for the corner of Eddie's space to stabilize, and neither of them can. So they maybe begin to merge somehow, like try literally, like Still kind of just going pretty crazy there. There it is. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? It's right, it's right in that region. So almost like it's just like... Liter this. It's like this current coming in this... Oh my god. That is... In insane the current coming in this way is just creating so much resistance for this current that it just has nowhere else to go but it just explodes upward in like a very lava-like way. What was I talking about? Birkeland Current. <laughs> this 
this thing is probably I don't know if this is the I keep saying Berkeley Current almost out of like a respect to the Electric Universe theory because I think they do a lot of good research, but whether or not that's like exactly what this like concept is that they were trying to capture, I'm not sure because the none of these images quite match this and people could be like oh well it's, that's because it's a fossil you fucking dumbass fossil einstein <laughs> uh, are you sure though why is it wrapped around it like that it doesn't and then this again why is it, why, why is that one just kind of emerging off of it like that How old is this video? This is an incredible find right here. I almost have to t take a screenshot. Okay. And they said it, he, I mean, he literally found it like that, like, just then, like, t like, without any preparation, what in the, Oh my god. Certainly it has lines in the right directions. Even here.
It really just isn't, though. You guys found an incredible stone. It's all articulated. Um... Oh my god. That thing. Like, what did they do with this? Hundred eighty million. This thing is priceless. They can't be selling that. I just want to see it more. There's no way they're selling it. Just looking up things. I, mean, I should go to bed. What was I even doing? I was just excited by this thing, really. I think it looks absolutely stunning. It's a long section of a vertebral column with ribs that are running over the vertebra, which I think really adds to the piece. We've got some suspected, what we think are predation marks. So if we just look down here, we think this is where. The beast living back in those times has actually tried to eat part of the creature. There's also another little tooth delve just there, which is really cool and just shows how savage these beasts must have been. What did you think it was when you heard it fall out of the cliff? Well, like, like most people, you wouldn't expect it to be anything, but I thought, better safe than sorry, went over to the cliff to see what had fallen out, and I actually found this along with a fully articulated paddle that had fallen out the cliff. So a paddle actually joins to this section of nodule, and as well as that, we've got a large part of the vertebral column still to attach, the rest of the block, which is really exciting. One of your favourite finds then? Oh, definitely. Where definitely is there. this paddle, bro? <laughs> Looks quite heavy. Yeah, it's reasonably heavy. Let's have a closer look at these fossilised bones, and then we'll be moving on to have a look at the third. I haven't seen any of this yet. Out of the three fossil hunts of this video. How, how can they move on from this? This thing is incredible. So this is the find of a lifetime. I really hope you're enjoying it so far. Holy shit. What? Little ammonite shape. <laughs> Let's have a closer look at these fossilized bones 
and then we'll be moving on to have a look at the third out of the three fossil hunts of this video. I really hope you... Something there... That one's not We're enjoying so it so far. There, that one. Oh my god, this thing. There's a bunch of little etched, th ed etched ammonites, but they're not really ammonites. They're just little etched things because that's, they're not ammonites. <laughs> oh my god. Now let's move on to the third fossil hunt. Should be a good one. Okay, guys. Pardon me. Uh, as much as I'd like to just watch the rest of this now because awesome uh, I guess that was the end of that also I noticed a lot of like shallogram kind of features in the curvatures of not just of just a lot of things like little little awning type of shapes that shallograms, ammonites, whatever you want to say, tend to have. Especially shallograms, so right at the top. They're just more distinct. So. Used to be. Where the path used to, to show, be. Should never be close to the cliff. Fell from there. So on the bottom of the cliff, so as you can see, people literally used to walk right along there before the cliff fell down. So far, we've not, not found, found any 3D ammonites, but I have just seen this. Potentially, this could be the first of the day. Curious about the terrain here. That's interesting. Of 
can see the difference with those other ammonites that we had a look at earlier in the video. These specimens here are much more pristine, literally just being exposed. Nice nodule filled with ammonites. I think that entire specimen would have been, would have been ginormous. Whoa. Imagine how big that entire specimen would have been, would have been ginormous. Really hoping for a big fossilised skull to be washed out of this fall. Although, maybe it's a bit too wishful thinking. Oh, if you look there, that rock has had some sort of ammonite to the side of it. It's probably worth putting our chisel in, lifting that shale, and revealing. It's a lot of like. <sighs> There's a lot of features around it. This, even the way the like rock cuts into it, like in a circle looking thing, wrapping around all the way, all the way up here, like not that's gorgeous. That looks almost shallogram like. Here's one. Within this nodule, I'll quickly go get the tools and we'll have a look inside. Just as I was going back to get my tools, just then, I've literally come across two ichthyosaur paddle digits. Completely out of the blue, wasn't expecting it at all. I'll show you them now. There was a slab I'd come across. Couldn't believe it. It's perfectly exposed paddle digit. Need a little bit of preparation, but these are a couple of the bones of a flipper of an ichthyosaur. Right here, you can see another one. Break some of the shale from around it. Perfect bone underneath. You can see there the detail from the bone. Absolutely perfect. Just need a little bit of air abrasive work to remove that top layer of shale. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Seems like there is another ammonite, but it's not preserved within the nodule. It's preserved on the bottom of it, so it's completely crushed. Oh well, just the way it goes sometimes. That nodule that we just removed from the shale slab and I thought was going to be completely empty, I decided to open it up, and you're not going to believe what was inside. I'll show you it now. Here's a look at what was inside of it. An ammonite! <laughs> oh. Alright, subtle. Not as subtle. Interesting. How incredible is that? That certainly took me by surprise. It just shows, it shows its currents. Although, interestingly, it looks like an inverse ammonite atop it of the other material in terms of its shape overall. Like it. I love how pyritic it is. It's makes it even more special when you had no idea at all. There's going to be anything there. I'm so glad that I decided to open that nodule just on the off chance. Cool. Cool. Okay. 
was fun. Oh yeah, maybe whatever. I'll see y'all later. I was gonna maybe read some chat chat GPT, but Oh, it's a tragedy. Tragedy, though. That thing is so trained to just say things. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? <sighs> All right. Peace out.